on Saturday, two out of three falls against the Briscoes in a rematch of one of the great tag team matches here in 2022. So, uh, Tony, first of all, I gotta say, I'm never, never gonna get used to that kind of reaction. So, thank you. <laughs> so, so, I'll follow that up by saying, I don't know if you guys know this, I'll let you in on a little secret that 2022 has been a pretty decent year for FTR. We've had some big moments, we've had some big matches, and I don't know if any match was bigger for us than Supercard of Honor because the first time ever, FTR stood across the ring from the Briscoes and we went to war. So no match was bigger for, 20, for us in 2022 until Saturday. Death Before Dishonor, FTR versus the Briscoes, two. And so I respect everything the Briscoes have done. I respect what they've done for tag team wrestling. For 20 years, 20 years, the Briscoes have helped lift tag team wrestling up. But, Death Before Dishonor, two out of three falls. We respect you, we respect that you're family men, but you are not gonna take what we've worked for away from us. You are not going to take any of these away from FTR. We respect you, but if you think you are walking out Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, I promise you, you are going to have to take them from our cold, dead hands. So, uh, so there's this little, uh, there was this little five-year-old girl back home, and uh, her parents took her to this routine checkup to the doctor. And uh, he put her, uh, he was listening to her chest and listening to her back and, and he heard something weird and it was, uh, it was an irregular heartbeat. And the doctor said, hey, don't worry, parents. Uh, let's just go to the cardiologist, let's get some x-rays done. Let's get a, a CT scan and MRI and see what's going on. So they went to the cardiologist and uh, they found out this little five-year-old girl had a hole in the bottom of her heart. And uh, the doctor told the parents, if this little girl worked hard, she fought hard, she could overcome this and that hole would close up on his own, but if not, they would have to do open heart surgery, which you know is a big risk for a five-year-old. So fast forward three years later and this little girl, she goes back to the same cardiologist and he does the x-rays, he does the MRIs and he looks and the hole is completely closed. This little girl worked her ass off. She fought her ass off to make sure she was healthy. And that little girl, the eight-year-old girl, is my daughter. And if that little eight-year-old girl will fight that hard for something that's not promised to her, well, daddy's got to do the same thing. Saturday night, Saturday night, daddy's got to fight that hard to bring home the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships and bring home a legacy she can be proud of. Saturday night. I, lo I love y'all too. Saturday night, pay-per-view, death before dishonor, Briscoes. I'm gonna fight like an eight-year-old girl. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. Top guys, out. And there it is, the stage just said what a story from Dax the Axe there. So happy for his daughter. Like, Warm, coming up. Absolutely.